Why, hello everybody, my name is here, and today we will be reviewing the sequel to one of my favorite zombie movies of all time, and one of my favorite movies of all time in general, Zombieland 2, Double Tap, or Zombieland Double Tap. It's a free country, just say whatever you say. Okay, here we go. So, Zombieland Double Tap again takes place 10 years after the events of the first Zombieland. They got uh, Tallahassee, Columbus, Little Rock, Wichita, living in the White House, but they encounter uh, Little Rock goes off with this, like, stoner musician guy, and they have to go get him back with a new character. So, kind of a road trip movie with zombies. N new zombies, like, tougher to kill zombies. Watch the movie. Pretty cool. Uh, so, starting off with the positives of Zombie Land Double Tap. The characters. These characters are so fun. They are so fun. And they have just as good, if not even better, charisma. Since they've been together for 10 years, they're a very, like, dysfunctional family. They're still just as fun to hang out with. Just as fun to see on screen. And just as funny. There's very funny scenes. Um, um, and a new character added in here. I forget the actress's name in the her name in general in the movie, uh, <laughs> sorry to how much I have a good memory. I do have a good memory, don't judge me. Um, but yeah, um, she makes this movie. She is a phenomenal new, like, in, like, um, what, like, add into this movie. She, she's very funny, very bubbly, lighthearted, but she's very enjoyable to see. Um, and the zombie stuff in this movie. It's fun. There's very good action sequences with zombies, and there's very funny scenes with zombies. And the way they like introduce new zombies, not kind of introduce, but the way they like they go deep into like some of the lore of of how zombies work in this movie. And I don't really know how to say it, but whatever. <laughs> um, just watch the movie. It's pretty interesting. CGI is a bit better in this movie than the first one. The first one, the, probably the biggest flaw with it, the CGI, it can be hit and miss in that movie. This one, maybe the CGI at some times is not the best, but uh, I would say it's a bit better than the original. Um, and the new character, and some new characters they bring in, there's about, I don't know, there's one negative I have with them, but they're very fun characters. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> um, so, overall, just the characters and all the new characters they bring in and all the interactions is the best part of the movie to me. It's very fun. And most times, most of the movie is all the characters. A good 98% of the movie is all the characters. The other 2% being teen stuff kids with the zombies. Uh, uh, it's great. So, yeah. Um, and the movie is very funny. Like, really, really funny. It has that same kind of like text animation style that the first one does. Like whenever uh, someone does like a uh, something that evolves, like like when someone like shoots a zombie two times, the rule number two double tap like pops up on the screen. It's still very fun. Um, so yeah, uh, and the characters are worked on in this way. They are worked on the relationship build. They build. They build. They give more background to the characters. Get more humanity. And they go on the characters. I was getting back to that character thing that I should have said about a minute ago, but it's fine. Um, but again, the movie's very funny, so yeah. Um, and the movie's also very exciting. Um, it's quite fast-paced. Fast there's some there's some scenes where they're just like in a car, driving, talking, but those are still funny. Um, there's, very, there's really cool like suit actors that's still very funny um, because of some of the new characters. Those are really, like, cool. I know there's, like, hidden cuts in the scene, but there's a really cool, like, kind of one-take, like, shot of just, um, Tallahassee and Columbus versus, like, two zombies in this, like, I think in the White House. You know, in this, like, small house. Um, it's, it's really fun. Um, and there's a simple joke that just makes me smile just thinking about it. It's really funny. Um, so... Uh, yeah, those are my positives for Zombieland 2. Uh, and you might think, oh my god, he must have not really like this movie. He probably only thinks those are the only good, great things about this movie. Those are like 
percent good positives. Um, <clears throat> my negatives, I have about three phenomenal positives. Three okay negatives. <laughs> so yeah, um, my first negative with this movie, there's a subplot involving Wichita Columbus and the new chick that they bring in. I didn't think it was much needed, but I don't know, there's some dialogue and there's like I didn't think the subplot was that much needed, but you know, you gotta build on the character, so I know why it's in there, but it didn't really work for me. Um, and some of the new characters, they don't really get the, the like, uh, backstory that you think they would, because there's like two, three characters in this movie that actually like, almost every single, yeah, pretty much every single new character don't, don't really have any backstory, they're just there. In zombie world that we didn't meet and that they didn't know for 10 years and now here they are <laughs> so yeah um so yeah um they don't really get the characterization that they would but they're still very fun characters too you don't see two characters you don't really see for that one because something happens to them but oh well <laughs> um but they're still very fun characters um and there's a very like clever scene between Tallahassee, columbus and the two new characters it's pretty clever what they did um, my final negative, kind of negative, it's still a fun scene. The final 10, 15 minutes of this movie, it feels a bit rushed. The finale, pretty much the finale. It takes place at this, like, I don't know how you call it, like, Babylon, what? It, there's, like, a humongous tower, and there's, like, a, like, big, like, park, and there's, like, a rent, and there's, like, a car park there, kind of. It's a fun scene, trust me. It, it's about 10 minutes long. It just feels a bit rushed. Uh, take the final act, uh, the fun house, the the, the the music play part that was the finale of the first song. Like that finale was at least like 20 minutes. Super fun, super drawn out, and it's super fun to watch. The finale of this movie, it's also very fun to watch. But it's it just kind of ends abruptly. Um, so it just kind of ends abruptly. And, uh, the final, just, it, it kind of just, I don't know. Again, it ends abruptly, but it just kind of feels rushed. Legit, I, the, in like the first two minutes of the final action scene, I legit thought that was just all the final, like, all the final, the finale of the movie. Because it quickly goes into like, oh my god, are we actually going to die? I would appreciate they actually kind of like saved that to the end, like the first time, but whatever. Um, so... Yeah, that's my review on my top half. Oh, well, I really enjoyed this movie. Would it make my top 10? Probably not, but definitely, most likely, an honorable mention. I'm gonna give it a solid B+. I don't think it's as good as the original Zombie Land, um, but it's, uh, th watching these two movies back to back would be a great, like, one, two hit punch. Yeah, that's my review on my top half. If you are going to see the film time rule, your expectations are, and if you have seen the film time rule, you have us. Yeah, so, come on, like, so. I'll see you next time.